So in this video, we are going to learn how to build a Telegram bot to generate AI images. Just that right. You can create a Telegram bot and to that bot, you just have to give the message or the prompt for which you want to generate the image. And using this automation which we are going to set up in this video, as we send a new message to a bot, automatically the same message will be sent to OpenAI's DALI to generate an AI images. And after generating the images, the same image will be received to us as a reply from the same Telegram bot as well. Now in this video, we are just taking the example of OpenAI's DALI as an AI image generation platform. But instead of this, you can use Google Gemini, Leonardo AI or any other AI image generation tool and use this with this Telegram bot to create the automation. Now, if you want to learn how you can create this kind of Telegram bot using which you can generate AI image with the help of Fabric Connect, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Telegram account where we are going to create our Telegram bot. And then we are going to connect that Telegram bot with OpenAI's DALI using which we will be generating the AI images. And to make this connection, we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration platform. And after creating this automation, whenever we are going to send any message as an image prompt to this Telegram bot, automatically that bot will be sending that same message as prompt to OpenAI's DALI and using DALI, we are going to generate an image and we are going to get the same image as a reply in the same chat from that bot. So let's see how it is done. And to get started, first we are going to create a Telegram bot in our Telegram account. For that here we have access Telegram web application and here we are going to search for bot father. Just select this bot father with the official tech. Then just click on the start button and to create a new bot, enter slash new bot. After entering this command, it is asking us to give this bot a name. Let's say I'll name my bot as AI image gen. This will be the name of my bot. Let's send it. Then after naming our bot, it is asking us to give this bot a unique username. So let's say I'll give the unique username as AI image gen 121. This will be the unique username of my bot. And after that, at last, I'm going to enter underscore bot over here. So this will be the unique username of my bot. After giving this username to the bot, here you can see using bot father, we have generated this bot. This is the link using which we can access this bot. And this is the API token of this bot. And we will be using this API token later on to connect our bot with Pavli Connect. But right now, we will just click on this link over here and this bot will open in front of us. Let's click on the start button and this bot is now active. After creating this bot, what we have to do? We have to connect this bot with OpenAI's DALI using which we will be generating the images. And for that, we will be using Pavli Connect. Now to get started with Pavli Connect, you will get a free sign up link in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. After creating your account and coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. Click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name it as Telegram AI image gen bot. Then just select the folder of the Pavli Connect account in which you want to set up this automation and click on create. And as we click on create here, you can see the workflow will open in front of us. In this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger step. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our telegram bot which we have created with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. So that whatever message or the image prompt we are going to send to this telegram bot all of those messages will be received inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. It will start. Then using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the same message as a prompt to OpenAI's DALI and using DALI, we are going to generate the image. After generating the image, we are going to send the same image as a reply to this bot over here in the same chat. So let's see how it is done. Here in our trigger step, we will search for Telegram bot and select it. After selecting Telegram bot, here in trigger event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as set webhook. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Telegram bot with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API token of our bot which we have created. 
So after creating the bot using botfather, in the same message, we have received this API token. Just copy this API token from here, go to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. After pasting the API token of our bot, just click on save. And as you click on save, we will see our Telegram bot will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making the connection, just click on this save and send test request button. And then it has now changed to waiting for response. This means Pabli Connect is waiting to capture some response of a new message for this bot being received. So let's do it. I'm going to send a message or an image prompt to this bot. Kids playing football on a ground surrounded with mountains covered with snow. So here this will be the particular prompt or for the image which I'm going to send. Let me send this prompt as a message to my telegram bot. So just now to my telegram bot, I have sent this message. Kids playing football on a ground surrounded by mountains covered with snow. And because we have connected this telegram bot with Pabli Connect, we will see in our Pabli Connect workflow in this trigger step, within few seconds, we have received the response. In this response, you can see the exact same message which was sent to our telegram bot. Also, if we'll scroll down, we'll see our username and also the unique chat ID of the person that who has sent this message to this telegram bot. So in this way, the step one of setting up this automation is completed where we have successfully received the new message sent to our telegram bot inside Pabli Connect. Now after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we are going to send this exact same message as a prompt to Dali. For that, we will scroll down, come to this action step and here in choose app, we will search for open AI. Just select it. After selecting open AI, an action event from the dropdown, select the action event as generate image. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our open AI account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our open AI account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this API key. So to get it, just log into your open AI account and then from the dashboard, go to this API keys section and click on this create new secret key button. Now after this, we just have to give this API key a name. Let's say I'll name it as telegram bot and then select all the permission and the default project and click on this create secret key button. As we click on create secret key, the API key is generated. Just copy the API key from here, go to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. After pasting the API key, just click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our OpenAI account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making the connection, the first thing it asks is, is the model. So in this dropdown, we have two models or two options to generate the images. Either we can use DALI 2 to generate the image or we can use DALI 3. So I will be using DALI 3 to generate the images for the prompt. Then it is asking us for the prompt that what is the prompt we want to give to DALI 3 to generate the image. So we have sent a message to our telegram bot and the same message is received inside Pabli Connect in the trigger step. And this is the prompt which we want to give to DALI 3 to generate the image. So what we have to do from the trigger step response is we have to send this response of message and add it into this open AI action step. And to add the trigger step responses to this action step, we are going to use a process called mapping. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of prompt and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received in our trigger step from telegram bot. Out of all of these responses, select the response of message text and it will be mapped over here. After mapping the message text or the message in this prompt field, it is asking us that how many images we want to generate. So using DALI 3, we can only generate one image at a time. So we are going to enter one over here. Then it is asking us for the size of the image, that what should be the size or the dimension of the image we are generating. So I want my image size to be 1024 by 1024 pixels. Then it is asking us for the quality. So from the drop down, I'm going to select the quality as HD. At last, it is asking us for the style, that what should be the style of the image which we are generating. And in style, we have two different options. Either we can generate a vivid image or a natural style image. So right now, the style which I want to go with is a natural style image. So I'll be selecting natural over here. After entering all the details and mapping the message on over here in the prompt field, just click on this save and send test request button. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see within few seconds, we are going to receive some response over here. And the response is received. 
And here in this response, you can see we have received a revised prompt that whatever prompt or the message we have given to Dali, it has basically improvised or improved this prompt over here. And for this particular prompt, it has generated the image. And then we have the image URL. We will just copy this image URL from here and paste it in a new tab. And let's open this image. So this is the image which is generated by Dali, which is a natural style image. Here you can see the kids are pretty natural over here of kids playing football surrounded by mountains covered with snow. So this is the kind of image which Dali has generated for the prompt which we have given. And here we have used the style of the image as natural. If you want, you can just keep this field as blank as well and let Dali decide that what is the best output it can give. Now, after generating the image over here, what we want to do, we want to send the same image as a reply by the same Telegram bot in that chat. For that, what we are going to do, we will scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose zap, we will search for Telegram bot. After selecting Telegram bot, an action event from this drop down, select the action event as send a photo. After selecting this action event, just click on connect and select add new connection. And now here, once again, we have to connect our Telegram bot with Pavli Connect. But because we have connected our Telegram bot with Pavli Connect in the trigger step, we don't have to make a new connection. You can just select the existing connection and click on save. And as we click on save, here you can see once again, the exact same Telegram bot will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us for the chat ID. That what is the chat ID of the user or the chat on which we want to send the image. So here in the trigger step responses, we have, we have captured the response of a new message. Here in these responses, we have also received the response of chat ID. So from here, we are going to map the response of same chat ID in the send a photo action step. Just click on this field of chat ID and here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses from previous two step. Here from the telegram bot trigger step, we are going to select the response of chat ID and map it. Then it is asking us for the caption that what will be the caption of the image which we are sending on our telegram group or telegram bot is replying to. So I want to enter the revised prompt which we have received from Dali to enter as the caption. So I'm, I'm just mapping the response of revised prompt over here in the field of caption. And here in the field of URL slash file ID, we are going to map the response of the image URL which is generated by Dali. So from the drop down, let's select and map the response of image URL. After mapping these details, in pass mode, we are going to select HTML and here we have the option to disable notification. Now, because I don't want to disable the notification, so I'm selecting no over here. After selecting all the option and mapping the chat ID, caption and image URL file URL, just click on this save and send test request button. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we are going to receive some response and the response is received. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the basically the image which was generated by Dali, that image is sent with the same revised prompt as a caption on this particular chat. The same chat from which we have received the message prompt. So let's check it. We will just go to our telegram bot and yes, in the same chat to the same user who has sent us the message, we have generated the image using Dali and sent the same generated image as a reply. And whatever revised prompt given by Dali was there, the same prompt is added as the caption of this image. So we have successfully created this automation for our Telegram bot using which we have created an AI image generation bot on Telegram. Now after setting up this automation and connecting it with the bot, we are going to test this automation or this chat bot once. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to enter a new image prompt over here. So this is the image prompt which I'm giving. Ancient Indian king in the courtyard with his ministers. Let me just send this message as a prompt to this chat bot. After giving this message to this telegram bot which we have created, what we have to do, we just have to wait for a few seconds over here. And within few seconds, using the same automation which we have created, we are going to basically generate the image and get the same image back as a reply from this telegram bot. And the image is received. And this is the image for the exact same prompt which we have sent, the exact same message which we have sent to this telegram bot. We have sent a message that ancient Indian king in the courtyard with his minister. And this is the image which our AI image generation bot of telegram has sent us. And this image is generated using Dali for the same message. 
This means the automation which we have created using Pavli Connect for our Telegram bot, this automation is working perfectly fine. It's so not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and start using this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can just do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.